back seat without a knock up. Yes, to land this. Space. Mr. Walter Gretzky, how are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still standing beside you. Hey, wow. Take two. Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. Their craft has to win the 48 foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Joining us, this is our holiday special, and we're celebrating the season East Coast style. Here in Atlantic Canada, Christmas is steeped in tradition, from family recipes passed down to gifts made with love and the music played for all to enjoy. It's hard to find a merrier lot, so over the course of the next half hour, we'll share those traditions with you, along with the news of holiday projects created by some truly talented East Coast folks. We'll tell you about some great events to add to your holiday calendar and get you going on fun projects for under your tree. And since we're celebrating the season, you've got to know our TV Free Stuff prize pack is filled with all sorts of Christmas treats. So with all that festive fun still to come, I say let's get to it. A family tradition of mine and the reason for our location today Today is the great pursuit of our schmantle tree. A way beyond modest, spindly and frail, Charlie Brown tree of a tree to place upon the wood stoveless hearth in our house. Every year we've been coming to my cousin Steve's camp to find our perfectly far from perfect tree. It's a great get together, so I'm happy you're here. And I'm happy to share the recipe for Christmas in a bowl with you. It's a tasty tradition you're gonna love. One of Atlantic Canada's oldest traditions has been beautifully captured in Dale Jarvis's new book, Any Mummer's Last in. Using archival records, historic photographs, and personal interviews with those who have kept the tradition alive, Dale tells the story of mummers themselves. And celebrating its sixth season some 175 years after the first sighting, the annual Mummers Festival in St. John's is on now until December 13th. Folks can enjoy events like Mummeroki and Scuff and Scoff to workshops on everything from making hobby horses to ugly sticks. You can rig up at the province's largest dress-up party and join in the fun of the Mummers Parade. All the details can be found at mummersfestival.ca. So many Santa Claus parades have already packed the streets and spots along the East Coast, like the very merry one held in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia. Thanks to those good folks for sharing the shots and for parade schedule throughout Atlantic Canada in December, have a look at the event listings on our site. Perhaps one of the tastiest routes you can take can be found in Uptown St. John. Crosby's Gingerbread Trail is celebrating its third year this holiday season with fantastical creations all over the city. Now on through December 21st, take a stroll, share your photos, and tag them with Gingerbread Trail for a chance to win a beautiful gift basket. You know, with all the baking being done around the region during the holidays, it's a great time to pause and salute our good friends at Crosby's. 135 years after LG Crosby founded his business in Atlantic Canada, the Crosby's Molasses Company continues to flourish as an independently owned family business. Under the direction now of Jim Crosby, a fourth generation molasses purveyor. There are a good many Christmas recipes on CNBC.com that count on Crosby's, including our most viewed, three years running, the classic dark fruitcake recipe. My mom's been making that fruitcake every Christmas for as long as I can remember. One of the many great recipes to be found in the treasury of Newfoundland dishes. As for what can be found on the menu here at the camp, well, there's Charlotte's Take the Chill Out Chili, and new this year, festively pleasing pulled pork. I'm in charge of the dessert every year, so I give you the easy to assemble Christmas in a bowl. It's one pot chocolate brownies, then candy cane ice cream, then chocolate fudge, which you can heat up to melty if you please, then candy cane bits, marshmallows, whipped cream, and a smidge more candy cane to top it off. That, my friends, is Christmas in a bowl. You can find the recipes for all of our cooked at the camp dishes and so many more, including some with wonderful stories of Christmas traditions at cnbc.com. Still ahead on our holiday show. Hi, I'm Maureen. I'm Karen. And I'm Teresa. And, and we're, we're the Anna sisters. sisters. And we just want to wish you a happy Christmas. And here's to a brilliant new year. The Ennis sisters have reunited just in time to celebrate the season with us, and we'll have a lovely song from them coming up in just a bit. Plus, the sidekick and I get crafty. Where did you get that? And you got it right from a Clementine box. I mean... All you have to do is get some red paint or green paint, because those are the traditional colors. Right. 
and paint it. And we'll dole out some festive free stuff too, like a copy of David Miles' brand new CD, It's Christmas, packed with classics like Silent Night and White Christmas, and some cool new originals like The Gift and Santa Never Brings Me a Banjo. Mr. Miles will be on the road this holiday season, beginning with three stops in his home province for his traditional Singing for Supper tour. This year, in partnership with CBC New Brunswick, David will play Fredericton December 3rd, St. John December 4th, and Dieppe on December the 5th to raise money and awareness for the province's food banks. For more information on those shows and all the other live dates on his Christmas tour, visit davidmiles.com. Another singer-songwriter who will be out and about this Christmas is Pictou County's own George Canyon. We last saw the man for PEI's Canada Day celebrations, and he'll return to the Gentle Island for three shows this December. It was there that George told me about his upcoming Hallmark movie, and I'm pleased to tell you that One Starry Christmas is now playing on the Hallmark Channel. And not only does George play a great supporting role, he also plays the guitar and sings in the movie. The Ballad of Wild Bill is available on iTunes, and Canadian fans, you can catch One Starry Christmas when it broadcasts on CTV2 Sunday, December the 7th. For more on George's live dates, wonderful music, Christmas movies, and other on-screen roles, visit georgecanyon.com. Someone else who took time to chat with us this summer was Mr. D star, Bette McDonald. She was excited to talk about her new book then, and it's out just in time for your holiday given. Mary Morrison's Cape Breton Christmas is a treasury of all things holiday, including Mary's advice for coping with the family, gift-giving do's and don'ts, and her favorite seasonal recipes. Oh, and you know Mary's on the road herself again this Christmas, dear. What began as a one-night-only Christmas show has become for many an unmissable holiday tradition. Don't miss Bette McDonald, Maynard Morrison, and Ralph Dillon in Tis the Season 8. Hit BetMcDonald.com for tour dates and tickets. And rounding out the talented four-pack of festive East Coast folks, be sure to catch the award-winning and awesome Fredericton, New Brunswick native Misha brueger gosman when she tours her new holiday album, Christmas. Recorded this July, Misha has been cool enough to share some behind-the-scenes moments, including her collaboration with Royal Wood. You'll find that video and all her tour dates at Misha.com. CNBCN.com is the place to go for some wonderful stories of East Coast traditions and Christmas memories. In our special features home for the holidays and the best Christmas present I ever got everyone from TV stars to recording artists filmmakers broadcasters and more share their treasured moments and as is our spirited tradition you'll want to check out the site for our official Christmas cocktail of 2014 created especially for CNBC by our good friends at Halifax's two doors down you'll remember Stephen Crusher Cross from our spring show well he's whipped up another wonder and this one's called hearth fire. A base of apple cider and hints of cinnamon fill this refreshing cocktail with the flavors of the season. A little Ironworks Blue Nose Rum in there and you can't beat it. Sure, it's just right for a holiday party or simply relaxing by the fire. You'll find that one along with a video of Crusher making our signature Mariner's Martini and all of our other East Coast cocktail creations at cnbc.com. Time to take our first break, but when we return, the sidekick and I will be in the workshop sharing our how-tos on East to make Christmas crafts and gifts. For now, we're off in search of our little Christmas tree. And to get us in the spirit, enjoy ECMA winner Rose Cousins and Friends with their lovely turn on a classic. We'll be right back. In beauty green will always grow Through summer sun and winter snow Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree how lovely are your branches. In my dreams there's family, songs and laughter around the tree. I'll close my eyes and there I'll be for Christmas by the sea. in the workshop. How you feeling? Good? I'm feeling good. Yeah. We love to give stuff away at Christmas. I'm a giver. I'm a getter. <laughs> She's honest. But we do like to give stuff. And um, one thing I just want to point out is our, uh, this is the Mama and Katie Ray's uh, jar of charity. And all, it's actually a tin. 
But all year long, we put in our loose change. Everything that we find around the house except for like toys and stuff, but we give toys away too. Yeah, but we do put our loose change in there and then we save up because there's some uh, church families that we buy toys for. Yes, we do. Yeah, indeed. All right. Well, anyway, we're here to talk about giving. Um, we also love to bake. Am I right? We love to bake. If you can see here, we have... Some candy cane bark. Yeah, this is a no-bake dessert, though, no. which is what I really like. Seriously. We did bake brownies for today's festivities, but this is a no-bake bark, and um, it's white chocolate with peppermint, and our favorite thing in the whole wide world at Christmas is candy, candy canes. canes. They're everywhere. Even our cookie jar is full of candy canes. Seriously, take yeah. a look. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy times, but we do love them. Um, so we're going to show you a couple of candy cane giveaways right now, including our peppermint bark. So uh, this is a fun thing you can do. Just make sure your Ziploc bag is zipped is up. It's definitely all sealed up because if it's not, you're going to have candy cane all over your house. Indeed. And we're going to have the recipe on the site, but basically that's six full candy canes in there. The double recipe is 12. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't always have to do six candy canes if you were making, let's say, candy cane hot chocolate. It depends. Oh yeah, but we're not doing that right but now. But we're not doing No, that. we're, we're going to fill these bags up with some bark. So whack away there, missus. Okay, watch my coffee. Okay. So now, basically, we do have got, some big bits in there, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, you really want just like a quarter inch because yeah. you're gonna you're gonna melt your white chocolate, put a little bit of peppermint extract in there, and create this bark. And all you do is chill. I'm gonna take some of that. You there. make sure you have very clean hands, though, right, Katie? Right. Make sure if you don't, cause this um bake. No bake. No bake. Bark. Bark. Definitely means that you have to have clean hands. Right. Well, this is the display one. We've got more, and basically what we do with this is break it up gingerly using the parchment paper. It's really rackety. And, and you is. want it to be in kind of big hunks because then what you're going to do is pop it in your gift bag. Okay, that's good. I think that's good. Yep, pop it in there. You can also sample as you go, which is another favorite thing. <laughs> hey? Mm, it's good. good, hey? Mm. You just pop it in. And we like to put these by the door so that if anybody comes in. Like, let's say our relatives, our friends. We're always having people pop in. True. Although, I like a phone call first, just a tip. Seriously. Hey, to make sure things look good. Scott, take one of these after. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. We've got our thing. Now, and here's the other thing. We love candy canes so much, we incorporate it into the gift tie. These bags do come with ties, but Katie Ray, you like to make your own. So why don't you show the good people at home how you make your bag ties? All right, so what you're going to need for this craft is your fancy colored pipe cleaners. You're going to need white, you're going to need green, and you're going to need red. Now, um, I know some people at home might like blueberry, strawberry, peach, but you know what? We're traditionalists, so we're going to use mint today. We don't even believe in the other kind of candy cane. It's true. Yeah. Because I don't really like the artificial colors what? and flavors. <laughs> that's a judgment call. Listen, we like the peppermint. That's all we're saying, right? Yeah, that's all we're saying. So while Katie Ray is doing that, I'm going to show you another thing, and this is something we like to put on gifts, and really, it's super simple. It's just a little, well, it's a little... It's a Fun candy thing. cane, yeah. and we put a little Rudolph nose on there, which is just a pom-pom, and um, some googly eyes. And um, I use the hot glue gun, but you know, you could use white craft glue. You could, but you know what? When I tried that for my crafts, it didn't work out so well, so I would use Mama's idea for uh, the, hot, the glue hot glue gun. Yeah, so always have an adult with you, because yeah. that gets really hot. I'm going to put some antlers on. You show the good folks how you're doing your ties, okay? Okay. So you're going to take one white one, one green one, and one red one. Now, some people might think it's easier to braid them, but um, if you're like under the age of maybe seven or um, older, you can just do a twist. two and twist it. Right, because most candy canes are a twist. They are, but I mean, if you want to get really fancy, then you can braid them. So, Mama, Yes, I'm going to hold the end. You're if you don't have a friend, you can use a drawer, right? You can use a drawer. You need, something, you need something to anchor the you end. Do. All right, very good. Here we go. So now you're going to start at the very top, not the bottom, because that will get all mixed up. Right. So you're going to take the white. Oh, you are braiding. It. Well, I'm going to braid this time, and then I'm going to show them how to. Yeah. Okay. We're going to run out of time. Probably not. 
go over, this one go over, this one goes over. You're very fancy. This one goes over, this one goes over. I love over. Christmas. I do too. It's I know, so nice. right? It's good. And it almost looks, looks like something a candy cane. Like this. And then you just hook that on the branches. And that's what you right? do. Right? Nice. And I'm going to use this for an example. Perfect. I mean, come on. Right? Easy. Super easy. And also nice to tie on a present. And it's a two-in-one craft. So, I mean, you get yes. two in one. Here, I'll hold that for you. I'm like your assistant in this. This is fun. It is fun. Hmm. And there's your super easy bag tie. You can really do any kind of design you want. You could curl them. You could curl them like candy Here, canes. Look. You can make them into a spiral. You could use a pencil. You got it all going on there. Hey! So there's two takeaways. You can have them right by your door. And so look, I curled them! Yeah, so when friends come over, you've got something to give them. That's sweet. It's super sweet. Yeah. I want to show everybody this little container because you might say to yourself, wow, I really like your wooden box. Where did you get that? And you got it right from a Clementine box. I mean... All you have to do is get some red paint or green paint because those are the traditional colors. Right. And paint it. Any and that's color. all. And then what Mama does is I've got this big bucket, which I use for my chocolate trifle recipe on the site if you're going anywhere for a potluck the dinner. chocolate trifle is good. so good. It's really good. It has score bar. Yeah. It has whipped cream. It has chocolate pudding. And it has some cake. Right. Do me a favor and grab me some of those pine cones. I'm going to get And some so of those we just take cones. these out because, you know, you really want to have a, this is instant decor. Am I right? It's super instant super decor. Super instant decor. And you know what? You could just use that also when you're not using it for the chocolate trifle. This is what I'm saying. You use it for, and you just pop a, a few little things in there. Ornaments in. Ornaments in there. You can put that on your table. You've got nice fresh uh, stuff. And you've got your container to paint so you can give away presents. Hey. True. You know I love the provincial tartans. I do. Yeah. I know because you've been doing it every year. Yeah, I try to use them in our scarves every year. I'm running out of them though now. I don't want to talk about that I right know. now. But I do want to say these are easy, simple, no so gifts. Right? They're we so like that. Easy. All you have to do is follow the lines to cut it. This is what I'm saying. I know. Right? Yeah. Okay. But I've never done it, so how would I know? No, well, but it's very I know sharp. It's true. But this is our gift, and every year we give everybody the same scarf. So we've got like relatives and friends, and everybody's but wearing it. But we never give the same tart. Because they will be like, hey. Hey, we got this last year. Right, right. So here's the thing um, we've got our provincial tartans. This is the province of. Um. Prince Edward Island. Right. And this is the tartan from New Brunswick. And this, you know this, because we live in this province. Nova Scotia Big, tartan. Exactly. And this one, this is where uh, grandmother is from. Newfoundland and Labrador. Exactly. And now here's the thing. We're going to create... you know what we should do this year, Mama? What? I'm just saying. Yep. We should do the Cape Breton tartan. We don't have one of those yet. We have placemats. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? I love them. Yeah, they're so, nice. They're and so Aunt nice. Kenan made those for us. Okay, yep. so here's what we're going to do. Instead of every year on our schmantle tree, you know, we put these gorgeous little ornaments, which we love, and we'll still put on, but I'm also going to make it an advent tree. <gasps> really, Mom? Yeah. <clears throat> Did you just fake surprise there? No. Do you know about it? Did I tell you I was going to do an advent tree? Yeah. Oh. I thought that was going to be a big surprise on camera. These are little sachets that I made and these are little ornaments. But what I did is kind of the same thing and it's super simple. So you're going to cut a 5 by 11 inch piece of tartan and then you're going to press down either of the short ends with about a half an inch seam and then sew those hems making sure that they are folded in the same direction. Once you have the ends hemmed you're going to fold it in half with the hem showing out and then sew both sides closed leaving your hemmed end open. Then you're going to tack on a matching string or yarn or ribbon to both sides of the open end. Then turn it inside out to form your little pouch. And we've got our little number glued on there or you could tack it on if you want. And Katie Ray, you just pop in a chocolate. And of course Katie Ray won't know what's in these bags. A little candy or it could be something that you get throughout the year. I've been collecting a few uh, treats from around the four Atlantic provinces. She has. Right. Which, true. which you'll be One getting time. daily. 
when I was in Cape Breton, my mom sent me a package and it had all these things from a little candy shop uh, in Prince from Prince Edward Island. Remember? Oh yes, that's right. Ah, oh, the sidekicks got it right again. As much as I love to craft, I love to shop local for my presents, too. I found all kinds of great stuff at the Charlottetown Farmer's Market last Christmas, and I've got it on my list of spots to shop this holiday, too. And talk about your traditions. The Craft Council of Newfoundland and Labrador just hosted their 41st Christmas craft fair in St. John's. No need to worry if you missed it, though. Just head to the Devon House Craft Center. Their shop is stocked with the works of over 150 crafters from around the province, from within Atlantic Canada and across the country too. It's a lovely spot to shop, as is Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia, home to one of my favorite Christmas traditions, the Father Christmas Festival. Celebrating its 10th season, folks are invited to enjoy everything from house tours and caroling to wagon rides and shopping. Make up your wish list by visiting all the stores and you could win over $1,500 worth the wonderful. One of the sweet spots to shop in Mahone Bay is Plover's The Environmental Store. That's where I found my sweet sweater for today's show. You be sure and stop in when you're in town or visit one of their other locations in Nova Scotia. For all the details, check out plovers.net. All this talk of presents and shopping has me in the mood to dole out some free stuff. So, here we go. Up for grabs, David Miles' brand new holiday CD, It's Christmas, the new book from Dale Jarvis, Any Mummers Loud In, and Mary Morrison's Cape Breton Christmas. All that lovely loot could be yours if you could tell us what's the name of the dessert I made at the camp earlier in the show. Once you know it, hit the website at cnbc.com, click on the TV Free Stuff button, and submit your answer. Good luck to ya, and we'll be right back with a song to celebrate the season from the Ennis Sisters. Welcome back to our celebration of the season. Looks like we found our poor little schmantle tree and we'll give it a place of honor it wouldn't otherwise get this Christmas. That's our family tradition. As for the holiday tradition of the Bear McNeils, well, they're out playing up a storm with their most extensive Christmas tour to date. The Bear McNeils Christmas shows have become a holiday tradition for so many families where everyone comes together and they celebrate the season, enjoying the sumptuous sounds of one of the world's greatest Celtic music families. And if you find yourself in Toronto, on December 13th, well then Massey Hall is the place to be for the Bear McNeils with special guests Rose Cousins, Lenny Galland, and David Francie. They'll perform seven shows in the Maritimes, the first of which will be in Charlottetown on December 16th, wrapping up with two shows at the Rebecca Cohen in Halifax on December 21st. For a full concert schedule, visit bearmcneils.com. And how about this for a segue? There are the Ennis sisters performing on the Bear McNeils Christmas show back in the day. And now, touring every Christmas has become a tradition for those three Newfoundland sisters. Maureen, Karen, and Teresa have helped raise thousands of dollars for communities across their home province. Touring from the Codroy Valley to Belle Island, it's a lovely evening of song, great stories, and big laughter too. And like a Christmas present to us all, the Ennis sisters are releasing a brand new album entitled Stages. We'll have them perform a song from that album in the new year, but for now, a perfect tune for our holiday show. It's Christmas. There's a message loud and clear Being carried on the air Calling to the ones with ears To hear the sound And it's raining like the snow A story from so long ago Reaching those who want to know It's Christmas Peace 
I love those ladies. For all the Ennis Sisters concert dates, visit theennisisters.com. You can watch this show and all the other great Community One programming anytime you want. Simply click the On Demand button on your Bell Alliant Fiber Op TV remote and follow the steps on your screen. And be sure to visit cnbc.com where we're celebrating the season with a wonderful contest. It's our countdown to Christmas. We're featuring and giving away a different East Coast present every day and then on Christmas morning, one lucky winner will score all 24. Well, that's going to do it for our show. Thanks so much for letting us share our traditions. Hopefully, you'll make your own this Christmas. And I wish you all the very best for a happy holidays from Canada's East Coast and a happy new year, too. Happy, happy new, new year! year.